Hello everyone. I'm making this little video to explain something I finally discovered how it works and what it means in OBS Studio. So this is for people who have issues with loss of uh, frames in their recording or in their streaming. There are actually in your statistics in OBS recording you have two types of missing frames. One is due to rendering lag and one is due to encoding lag. Encoding lag is pretty obvious. Your encoding settings are too heavy for your processor that's doing the encoding, being X264. If it's the CPU from your system, the main CPU, or being whatever video hardware accelerated encoder, if it's going to be your video cards and your overcard is already overloaded. So being NVENC or NVIDIA, uh, QuickSync for Intel, whatever. So let me show you immediately what I mean with OBS Studio on the screen right now. So this is my OBS Studio and you can see the loss of fr frames in the statistics as you can see here. Sorry for the duplicate uh, mirror effect image. I'm showing OBS with, I only have a single screen uh, system here, so that's why. Um, so basically, you can see frames missed due to rendering lag. And this is a thing that is not clearly explained on the internet at all. And this is the thing that was driving me crazy at some point. Like, why the hell do I have these lost frames? My encoding is usually perfect. Uh, it took me a while to find the correct settings, but that's pretty okay now. I'm encoding... Um, well, that's a different chapter. I'll, I'll probably make another video about this. There are already videos for this on how to use your onboard Intel video cards uh, processor that's normally dormant and doing nothing because usually when you're a gamer, you have a serious video card uh, that's much more performance than NVIDIA or an AMD. Uh, and that's like 7,000% uh, as fast as the onboard Intel. But the Intel is just doing nothing and just to encode videos, it could be useful. So I'm using that to do the encoding for my streaming. I have to push, of course, the bitrate a bit more than I would do with X264. But that's the encoding lag. So once you have the encoding set up correctly, you're using the Intel or not, and you're not overstressing your CPU, that's how you lower your encoding lag. But what the hell is that rendering lag? People have been trying several things uh, and with varying success and sometimes not at all. And I was wondering, but what the heck is that rendering like? What is the rendering? This, We know what the word rendering means on itself. It means you're actually drawing something. Uh, but is it the complexity of my scene in OBS that OBS has to do some processing to render the total image before encoding it? Or is it uh, the rendering of my game? Or is it the rendering of the grabbing of the game? whatever so it was a mystery up until i managed to find some time to do several tests and by uh experience i discovered what the rendering lag actually is before i explain you what the rendering lag actually is there are two things you have to keep in mind you're most likely aware of the fact that you can set up your game and your video driver in such a fashion that you have either no restriction on the rendition of the number of frames per second, which means the vertical sync is off, and then your video card spits everything it's got, the game gives as many frames as it can to the video cards to handle, and the video card's CPU is going to just use as much as it can, and it's, it's, it's going to be, well, not entirely saturated, but it's going to be fully used, leaving little or no margin for encoding should you want to use the same video adapter to do your encoding with NVENC or QuickSync or the AMD stuff. So if you want to do that for the recording on the side, like I'm recording right now, by the way, you should use vertical sync on for sure to save a bit of performance on your video cards. So that's one thing. So you know about this vertical sync. So you know how to control the number of frames per second that the game is actually rendering on the screen. And then there is OBS Studio. In the video settings, currently I can't change anything, but it's grayed out, but these are the, the values that you can normally change. You have your resolution and 
the frames per second that you desire to capture for your recording and your streaming. So OBS Studio is, as it's configured here, trying to capture 30 frames per second. You can change that to whatever you want. Here I'm in full HD for this demo. Usually when I'm streaming, I'm going down to 720p and capture 60 frames per second because the games I play are just rapid in nature when it comes to everything that appears on the screen. So there is a lot of motion. And if I leave that 30 frames per second, uh, when I'll quickly move left, right with the mouse, people have a hard time following, you get sick. You, it's, it's just not comfortable. 60 frames is the way to go, but then I have to reduce the resolution. But it's 60 frames then. So if I set this to 60 frames and my game is rendering 100 frames or 120 frames because my screen vertical sync would be 120, no problem. I have more than enough frames that the game is delivering to me. I only need to pick a little bit of it. Imagine now my graphics card is a bit below par. And my graphics card with the game and the system uh, set up in such a fashion that I have regularly drops when there is complex scenes coming up in rendition of my frames per second and it goes below what OBS is asking for in this case 30 frames per second imagine the game at some points goes down to 20 frames per second well these 10 frames difference OBS cannot capture so it cannot render it and that is the number of frames that you would be losing 10 frames out of the 30 in one second of time in your rendering lag. So this is exactly what it means. Basically, if you want to avoid rendering lag, what do you do? Very simple. You make sure that your game is capable to render at least as much as OBS wants to capture. You download GPU Z to look at the performance of your graphics adapter. You turn on whatever options you need to turn on in your game to show and display the number of frames per second that your game is rendering, you tune the settings in such a fashion that you have your frames per seconds. Making sure you use VSync because if your card is being overloaded and you want to use the cards to record, it's not gonna work. You're gonna move the problem to the encoding lag. That's not good either. So if you wanna stream, um, you have to give in to something. If you, This is for, for, of course, single system streaming. You have one screen, one system, you play and you stream on the same system. If you have a second system that's dedicated to capturing and encoding and streaming, then you can do whatever you want regarding uh, the settings of your, or your graphics adapter where you're playing with on your gaming rig. But if, if you have everything on one system, you have to balance and you have to make a choice between rendition performance for your own gaming comfort or uh, performance management so that OBS has no lag on the rendering, no lag on encoding and that your stream is perfectly fine. So you have to put VSync on, you have to make some concessions. That's how it works. There's no way around it. But basically that's what the rendering lag is. Rendering lag is OBS tries to capture more than your card can deliver. So I also found out that for instance, 60 frames per second. Can I find this? Can I display this on my own? Uh, it's not really going to show in the control panel in an easy way. In the advanced settings, you can see refresh rate is 59 um, hertz. So you can change, what was it again? The refresh rate. On this particular monitor, there are two refresh rates supported, 59 hertz and 60 hertz. So basically it's on 59, which is not really what I wanted to do when I do a 60 Hertz capture. So I have to put this on 60 Hertz. Um, I don't know, wow, OBS will react. Okay, it does it. So it, it, it runs down, but basically my adapter is going to try to render 60 Hertz. And when I'm on my gaming configuration on OBS, I'm going to be at 720 points, 60 frames per second. In the values that it can capture, there is one that's just a bit below 60 frames per second, and that's 59.95. And that's just that little tiny bit that is required to be just fine with capturing 60 frames per second. 59.95 is almost that. So my rendering lag goes away. 
I have just on an entire stream of an hour or two, I have currently the last stream I have been doing, I have between three and six lost frames, which is totally normal if you take into account that loading the game, changing maps, you always have some short periods of time when there is graphics switch over from um, memory load, map loads. There's always a little fraction of a second where when the game starts or changes level, you have the image that freezes and starts up again. That's when you have your rendering lag because the adapter isn't just rendering images anymore and OBS tries to get them. So there is always something in the rendering lag. It's never zero, zero everywhere. But it's manageable. Like this one, the three frames, that's the same you've seen in the beginning of this video when I was starting the recording. So far I have lagged no rendering frames at all during this recording. And I will probably have another few coming up onto these statistics as soon as I stop the recording. So I hope it made a bit of sense for you guys. And uh, I hope this is uh, clear now and you know what to do to avoid excessive rendering lag. Make sure your game can render enough opposed to what you ask OBS Studio to actually do for you. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment below and uh, you don't have to like, you don't have to subscribe. This is just a personal channel. It's not a commercial channel. I'm just having, putting all kinds of videos here. Also, so just, I hope I just contributed a bit to the streamers and people using OBS Studio and that you now understand better this particular setting for which I found little to zero documentation so far. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.